everyone. Welcome to our video number 666. <laughs> what a coincidence on what we are about to be reviewing now. It's been a while since our last upload. That doesn't mean we stopped playing. We're still here and actually are really active playing other games. Destiny 2, Planet Side, and a few more games from genres we never like. In this video, we will be reviewing Lords of the Fallen 2 and why this game is one of the reasons why we stopped uploading videos. Lords of the Fallen 1 was great. When they announced that there will be this Lords of the Fallen 2, we were stoked on how it's going to be. I mean, we've been psyched about Elden Ring before it came out. Only after six months of playing it realized how repetitive that game was. So maybe this new Lords of the Fallen will be better. Well, we're kind of like left in the middle. Why? Because the only good thing about this new Lords of the Fallen is the graphics. That's it. The environment, if you can call it that, might be limited, but it's so evil. I can simply park my character in one of those corridors, just watch it and let that ominous feeling to be creeping on me. The environment is a bit limited. There's not so much open spaces like Elden Ring, maybe. I believe that those extravagant open spaces in Elden Ring was so massive that it's so tedious over time. But here in Lords of the Fallen, it's the opposite because it's so narrow this time around. I think I'm looking for something that is in the middle of these maps. Not too massive, but not too grand either. The moth that goes in and out is ugly. No idea why it's being put in there. Maybe someone suggested that the moths were evil butterflies. I don't know. All the creatures are fine the first time I encounter them, but as I am progressing in the game, I noticed that creatures were simply recycled over and over again. My brother and I bought it deluxe, that's two digital copies, so that's like 260 Australian dollars spent on this game, only to be bombarded by recycled monsters, cramped spaces and bad camera work. We've played Souls-like games while being so young and now desensitized on all these so-called difficulties. Reminds me to say that the lack of difficulty in this game is another thing to consider. They're not that easy easy, but like I said earlier, the recycled creatures keep on coming out and keep on fighting them is another disappointment. I remember while playing it, I'm just gliding through and through. Sometimes I got killed, then the moths came out and I'm back gliding again. The next thing I know is that the game is over and the credits rolled in front of me. And I was like, that's it? We both play this game on PS5, so no complaints about the graphics. I said earlier that the graphics, the artwork, and especially the cutscenes were top notch. Those were all laid to waste because the game itself is so subpar, it's funny. I'm not saying that this is so really bad, but the game feels like a one trick pony. Sometimes it seems that this Lords of the Fallen 2 was not finished properly. The game is small and felt rushed. If you've read the reviews of the first one, most of the reviews were also like what I'm saying here now. However, we've played Lords of the Fallen 1 after eight years since release date and we liked it so much. Maybe this will become a better game after eight years too when they fix things up. The potential is there, but what's happening here is a mess. Sometimes the camera moves too much and all I can do when that happens is laugh. I'm not really bothered when the camera goes out of whack, that's because the game itself is not hard. I like the balance of difficulties and fun, but the game is just bad. Camera work is bad, controls were bad, frame rate is bad. Monsters were so bad they even have the guts to recycle it, thinking maybe you won't notice. I don't know why some doesn't talk about it, but if you're expecting something that can beat Dark Souls, this is not it. Having said all of that, it's not all doom and gloom for the game. I really like the Soul Reaver feature. I mean, the lamp that you can use to lit and see hidden areas. It could be more fun using that lamp if they made this an open world, but since it is so small that only with a few spins you're already familiar with certain spots. Give me that lamp! We're one of those Souls-like fans who got bored playing the vast landscapes of Elden Ring. We're really excited loading this game, but while we're in the middle playing Lords of the Fallen 2, it feels like a downgrade from Elden Ring. Maybe we should not compare, maybe we just expected too much. 
After we beat the game, I tried other characters, different builds and stats, rerunning to mess with the magic, but there's something really lacking on it. I think we still have the Elden Ring hangover. By the way, bad enemy placement doesn't make the game difficult. What is it with these little bodyguards? I'm sure they got a word for those, but really. I've already mentioned the control and camera work were awful. Needs a bit of an overhaul to fine-tune these things. You can give this a shot, but don't expect too much. The Deluxe was a bit on the pricey side, and it offers so little relevance than the regular edition. I'm sure this will get better over the next few months, but as of this review, the game needs to be fixed first. For now, we're giving it 3 out of 5 stars.